What is up guys, it's Sam Green Slide Fox. Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. So I watch a lot of YouTube, as I'm sure a lot of you do maybe. So a lot of videos came out in the last month that started with Gabby trying to do a Nikki Tutorials makeup tutorial. So since this is a plant dominant channel, I figured I would try a garden answer tutorial. Laura, if you are watching by some odd chance, hello, I love your channel. You definitely inspired me to get a move on learning about my garden outdoors and indoors as well, so I thank you for that. I will definitely link everything below her original video. I'm filming this before I actually do it, so who knows how it's going to turn out. It might be like a Pinterest fail type of thing. So some of you have me... Man, I can't do this today. Some of you have me... Some of you may have recently seen that I put up a video of me taking care of some etiolated plants and that included my donkey tail. So I'm looking at all these little cuttings and they're so adorable and miniature on the top and they have these perfect little shapes. So I'm thinking to myself, man, what have I seen in the past that does a bunch of like cutting projects other than like a wreath or a ball or something and I wanted to go ahead and take a spin on this video and I had a bunch of cuttings in the house that I was going to use and I grabbed a couple from outside so I've let them all dry out about two or three days here and let's just go ahead and jump into this video. Okay so I got these wood popsicle sticks and it actually came with glue each of them got measured out to three and a half inches and after cutting 14 pieces and chasing these around my house I I got 14 even pieces to start this palette so I started with super glue which you're gonna see here I attempted like four times not sure why I just didn't start with the wood glue that it came with and that eventually got everything to stick I went ahead and continued to build the palette shape So at this point I had to take it outside and go ahead and give it a clear coat. This is protectant basically and I let that dry about 20 minutes. These are the cuttings. Came from my idiolated donkey tail and I had a couple of sedum outside. Not sphagnum moss but it's a mix of a bit of reindeer moss, a little bit of cactus and palm soil and these are kind of like almost wood chip but it's just something for the cuttings to go into. Started using tacky glue to the ends of the cuttings and my camera died so instead of these fancy shots you could just catch my iPhone time lapse. turned out. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a like. If you are not already subscribed, I would love to have you here as part of our plant fam. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button, the bell, if you feel so compelled to uh, get notified every time I upload. And I will see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.